Test, test, one, two, three. I'm gonna go on ahead and just kind of wing this episode a little bit. Hopefully the audio sounds A-OK. -okay. Hello everybody, my name is David, you can call me Zen, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Arise. In the previous episode, last time I checked, we were working on some side quests. Today, we are going to be hunting down the remaining owls left across the different regions of Dana. So, the easiest way to tell what regions that we have left to kind of go to is go ahead and examine each um, tree. So, we're good here. Um, looks like we're going to have to find some in um, First Area Calaglia, Cislodia, um, Menencia, Almadria's region, and it looks like we already have a lot of the ones in Pelagian. So we do have quite a bit of um, else to go. And this episode is going to be very editing heavy because it's going to be kind of hard for me to keep trying to just like, if I manually did it, go to each like world. Now that we're basically seeing all that this game has to offer, I looked up a guide. Let me just keep it a buck. So we're just going to be kind of going back and forth and I'm just going to be checking the different um areas just to kind of confirm where they are so i uh, will meet you guys back when we find the first couple about uh, like you know you'll understand how this video works as i get into it <laughs> all right let's go ahead and keep going and since it's something hoodle has it looks like the first hour that we have is actually going to be over here where these uh guys are which is kind of weird because i thought i would have gotten this one by now but guess i didn't all right, one owl down, so got a couple more to go. All right, next owl. So this one, one I was kind of struggling to find a little bit, and it should be somewhere over here. Oh, there we go. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so the next one should be kind of close by this area. I can tell that I didn't ever come back here just because, um... Uh, story relevance kind of happened so if I read this correctly he should actually be somewhere a little farther back kind of by maybe those wolves I have a picture but sometimes pictures don't do me justice oh there we go all right the other one down many many more to go all right, as we're heading out to our next um, one, we actually got a skit. So let's go ahead and take a look. Sure is good to be back in the pleasant climbs of Menencia, especially after the extremes of some of the other regions we visited. Definitely, your country is beautiful. You do me an honor. However, this place was never mine to own. That's I very to true. It that way, though, I guess technically you weren't born here either. That is also Maybe true. Not, that doesn't change the feelings you had for the place. If I were you, I'd try to take a little pride in people's compliments. That's what I'm saying. Well, Nobody ever can take compliment no more. And that sounds like no easy task. Nothing <laughs> sounds easy when you overthink things the way you do. It must be exhausting. Oh, jeez. Y'all are y'all digging in him. Just calm down. That's just the way he is. Yeah, so we'd noticed. Let's change the subject, shall we? It's a wonder so many things coincided to bring us here. Alfin's awakening, Shion's decision to revolt, the Danon uprising in Calaglia, the crown contest's final, sputtering throws. Zephyr's oh god, now he is overthinking again. Now, time. see you see what you guys have done. He's he's talking, he's yapping. On. We're trying it's to get some owls, man. Together by design. By someone who wanted to bring down the system. No, enough hand of destiny talk. We did this on our own steam. It's our responsibility to see it through. Did Law just utter a pearl of wisdom? Uh, guys, do leave Law alone. Now? Just what do you take me for exactly? Leave Honestly, Law alone, goodness gracious. Uh, I always sort of peg you as a likable dolt. That's toxic. What the hell makes me a dolt, you dolt? I mean, That's... she did say he was a likable dolt. Sorry, don't double down. Let's refrain from poking this particular zoogle any further. Some lessons just can't be taught. Not to adults, anyway. Yup. Alright. 
Jeez, all right, and Dohalim, let's, get, hey, let's keep getting Zara. the skits. What's your secret for putting up with Dohalim? I don't know how you managed to deal with him. You can tell that some of these skits secret. were written oh, with some it, like to nods really. to like some certain story Could events happening, but now that we're going back through certain I areas, it's um a little weird. Is a step too far for me. And those poetic flourishes he sneaks into regular conversations. This would have fit when How you had just had react? met him, but this is uh, it's kind of toxic right now. Voice, that's for sure. I say let him have his fun. No need to try and understand anything he says. Has he always been like that? He didn't seem as on edge all the time back in Menencia, though he was my superior back then. So who's to say what I didn't see? The Lord of Cislodia hid in plain sight while a crony posing as him carried out all his business. What if the Lord we met in Vicent was really... An imposter? Dohalim? Hardly. Like it or not, that's him all right. In all his flamboyant, circumloquacious glory. Not circumloquacious! Like what is that? that on a daily basis. Come to think of it, what with being a Lord and all... He's probably never had anyone to speak to on an equal basis. It yeah. wouldn't surprise me. Having you guys around, having a family in a way, must be what's helped him change. Sorry, I'm still thinking about circumloquacious. Like, who be, who be saying that? <laughs> it's those eccentricities that make him who he is. Okay. So, the area that, that I'm actually walking and making my way towards to now that we finish the skits is actually going to be the kitchen. So, I realized that, um, it's actually on the first floor, so I'll meet you guys over there in a moment. Alright, so the kit, so homie is in the kitchen, and I think that the, that little homie's trying to think that he's, uh, an ingredient. Yikers. Alright, but we got another one down, on to the next one. Alright, not only did we get some red jasmine for our troubles, I believe that, um, our little guy is up top. And I saw the boar. I see you. I acknowledge you. And you're going to perish as we go to the next one. Okay. So the next area is going to be um, here in Aiden Lake in uh, El not Elden Menencia. Um, I forgot. What, I already forgot what this region's called. But we have a skit. Alfin, okay there, big guy. You look kind of pissed. I'll say. He looks like he wants to bite the head off something. What's eating at you? Come on, Alfin. You're gonna bring us all down if you keep that ferocious scowl on. Hmm? Uh, oh, sorry. Do I really look that ticked off? I mean, you're a growling dog. Yeah, it kind of makes you hard to talk to. So, what's bothering you? It's, uh... It's a pebble. Wait, what do you... Uh, um, a homie, excuse me? Snuck its way into the back of my boot. I can't seem to get rid of it. Oh, I totally get you. <sighs> Weird how much it can get on your nerves, huh? Yeah, it's barely bigger than a grain of sand. So how come it feels like I'm walking around on hot nails? You know, maybe this is a crazy solution, but you could just take your I love off and give it a shake. Thank you, Xion. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I bet you doesn't want right. to see want his grippers being out. I bet you. <sighs> It's like I've been given a new lease on life. Thanks for the tip, Shion. Seemed kind of obvious, but you're welcome. <laughs> That's the trouble with windy places. All that fine debris ends up getting into your hair and clothes. Alfin, is it just me, or have you become extra sensitive ever since getting your um, sense of pain? Not back? extra sensitive. Not you mention it. The other night at camp, there was a fly buzzing around that annoyed him so much, he unsheathed the blazing sword. Excuse me? So much for sensitive. That's just being a Mr. Cranky Pants. Nothing new on that front, then. What's the matter, Alfin? You look a little tense. Uh, it's nothing, really. He wants to get angry, but knows that doing so would only prove our point. Oh, Dohilin, don't Hence read him like a book! frustration showing plainly on his face. Would you stop analyzing things for one minute? <laughs> oh, that, that skit was a good one. That skit was a good one. Was this dragon always here? Let's fight it. 
There's no reason to actually fight this dragon, but I figured that um, it's here for the first time. But um, the thing that kind of trips me out a little bit is that it has as much health as some of the areas, some of the mobs in Rena on very easy. But it doesn't do enough damage to warrant, like, doing anything, like, too crazy. So, maybe it'll drop something? Um, Dragon Flame Sack, I mean, thank you. Yeah, so... The reason why I wanted to come here is that I actually never went over here in Aiden Lake. So there might actually be something here for us besides the owl, although it might be a little outdated now. So fingers crossed? Question? Alright, so we have the owl here at least, but it might be worth just exploring. Okay, so the owl should be around here. So, ideally, oh, not me finding a recipe. Oh, I see it. Oh, the angry glasses. That oh, those are cute. All right, before we go on, I want to see what was in that one chest, if we can. Nope, nope, y'all ain't getting me. Not, not today. You guys chose the wrong one. Um, Blade of Sealing? What a wonderful treasure this is. So, I missed out on an artifact? So, I can... Reduce all damage, both take it and inflict it to one. Oh my goodness. You be hitting somebody and they be hitting you forever. What an interesting... I'm glad that we came over here. But what an interesting, um... Item. Okay. Anyway, to the next one! Okay, so... Um, we're back. I went on ahead and checked the records, and we are supposed to be at 32 of 38. So, we have found all the owls that are available out in the open world. I think I did a pretty good job, all things considered, for, um checking like the general game i guess for um for a lot of for a lot of the owls so everyone should be where they're supposed to be so let's talk to the king and queen hoot hoot and i also got the steam achievement so finding the original 32 was exactly what we needed to do so let's watch the cutscene all right come on give us our stuff the king is so the king is so weird So, we, for the for the most part, we're just getting alt alternative uh, colors for well, everything. Most of the perches are filled up now. Frankly, I'm amazed there's so many of these guys. What cautious lives they must have lived. They deserve credit for their vitality. Yes, sir. They're all so lovely individually, but I think they look downright awe-inspiring. And so many of them are gathered together in one place. Oh, she is such a simp for these owls. It's hard to relax with all of them eyeballing us. Don't don't, don't summon all the owls' yeah, wrath. I guess owls do seem to stare. <sighs> uh, uh, you've done well. He's at it again. Come on, you know you like it. <laughs> Frankly, I never thought you'd gather so many of us. You I hate that so Alfin and Xion just are owl translated. This doesn't you make given sense. Us a big happy family. We are on the brink of extinction. We must work together if we are to change our fate. You carry a heavy burden. Don't you worry. We can change fate. You won't be alone. I promise. This isn't just your fight. I'm here for you too. I feel like this is the roles should have been together. reversed for like Shion and Alfin. Like that's what that we're doing within the main story. For the owls, right? Uh, yeah. Of course. Not the blushing. It's nice to see everyone getting along, but perhaps we should be moving on. Just who was that conversation between? Try not to think about it too much. Besides, 
There's still a few empty perches left. And this is part of the reason why um they wanted hey, us Yoko. to Once we've managed to gather all the owls, after that. Huh? What are you thinking? Think who's going to leave? So yeah, special owls have been seen to scatter out out and around through all of Dana. So we need to go and find all all these special owls. So, um as the guide is kind of mentioning here below, um, as I'm trying to do, as you know, relatively thorough coverage of the game, you need to have collect all all the 32 owls. We received the Owl Queen doll, which I believe we just did. Yeah, the Owl Queen doll. And we have to have gotten gotten all the way to Rena in order for us to find these last um, six special owls. With that said, now the other pop up, we can go and find out, find um, all six. They're gonna be around. So, um, I do know, I do have access to where they all are. So, we're just gonna go on ahead and get them. So, the first owl is going to be here in Iglia Wastes. It's not too far from when we found the original owl there. I know that we found it maybe ages ago. So, we are going to be heading down to. Um, kind of over here. All right, so pretty much all we have to do is that we have to have our main man, Dolhalim, basically climb, um, make us a thing up here, and Homie is sitting, Homie is sitting right over there. And in addition, nice little chest. We get a vest of secrets. So I wonder if that actually is. So it is worse for Law at this point now. Unfortunate. Why is his voice like that? And as you guys can see, we aren't actually going to be getting fashion accessories. We are actually going to go and get um, relics for our trouble. So I think that this is definitely that treasure something, something that's going to be pretty helpful. Sweet sounding ring it has. Okay, next off the chopping block is that we have to head over to the um, what's his face castle. And this is probably going to go for everybody really else, with the so? with the exception of the 33rd one. In each of the throne rooms, um, I believe the owl is going to be there. So we have to go on ahead and just hurry and make our way to each of the different lord's chambers. And all the different owls have nice, cute little designs, so something a little bit more interesting to look at, you know? It's been so long here. If you guys remember, we fought ball stuff episodes upon episodes ago. I think it was like episode 10 or 11. We are basically on like 78 or 79, which I think is honestly kind of crazy at this point. Thinking how far we've kind of come, not only as just like characters, but just, you know, as a person doing this Let's Play series. So let's go ahead and grab our first one. Why he looking like that? Who knows? I don't know why he sounded like that, but there's one. Next one, obviously, like I said, we should be heading over to, well, I shouldn't say that they are in the throne room of everybody's castle, but the next one is in Rivel Prison Tower in the Hidden Chamber, which if you guys remember, this was kind of one of the areas that we kind of went out of our way for, so... It's gonna take us a little second to get there, but I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright! Skit time, actually. Let me correct myself. Actually, yeah, this is actually a really good question. I could also believe that. Because they want to persecute us. Of course, if I'd known that one day I'd be doing this, I would have taken my studies more seriously. What about your parents? Same deal. Run through the mill. Told constantly that training was the only way to survive in a world like this. Once again, I so more parallels for these two, which is very kind of crazy. First time we met, 
You risked using your magic to stop me from kicking my dad's ass. You could have done anything else. You could have ignored him. So, why? You felt like you had to do something, right? I guess something about Zephyr reminded me of my own father. You know, Zephyr and Law. You don't see kind of interesting names in the family. I don't think they ever disclosed um, Law's mother's name, so I wonder or what their entire like family dynamic Not name is. I don't know how to explain it. I just felt a resemblance, I guess. Wow. Well, I won't pretend I understand, but I'm glad. Your dad must have been a great guy. He was. Cute little skit. Cute little more skits. Because why not? Maybe it's the snow soaking up all the sound, but something about Cislodia always feels mysterious to me. Solemn, almost. When it comes to solemnity, I'd say our own Octolina Palace is no slouch. I won't argue with you there. Still, that azure tint of the shadows on the silvery white snow, it has a certain indescribable quality. Indeed. It was boorish of me to even suggest such a comparison. I know is it's freaking cold. Still, uh, I love it, Law. Law, the please. Quite as frosty towards us. Hmm. Well, excuse me if I'm too frosty for your warm self. Oh. oh, come on. You know I didn't mean you. Besides, really, I'm the one who. How about we stop getting hung up on the past for a change? Thank you. Take Thank you, Kisar. Put, put these fools back instead. on track. Golly. Just as dangerous in its own right. Better that than obsessing over it like a certain someone I know. Kisara doesn't mince her words, does she? Nope. I could say the same thing about one or two of the other women around here. Tell me about it. Ooh. I think I'll refrain from commenting on this one. Y'all are so wild. Got some dried fish for you. You want some? Huh. Forget that. Doesn't some tasty red meat sound better? Boy? No, a uh, hoodle. Oh no, not a hoodle skin. Sidekick, if you're so desperate for one, not not to get your own adorable sidekick. Oh. But if Ludo wanted the treats, of attention. funny how things change. He and Renwell used to be joined at the hip or shoulder to Talon. It's not just Hoodle who's become more trusting, isn't that so, Renwell? Exactly, pets and their owners act alike. Oh, look at how Hoodle looks so happy. I've done my share of coming out of my own shell, too. Well, then. I guess with you and Hoodle, that makes us all one big happy family. Exactly. Sometimes when I'm deep in thought, Hoodle will come over and sit next to me. I only wish I could actually pet him. We'll get we'll get you there. Oh, you will someday. You won't believe how soft he is. Wish I hope I she gets to give him a hug. I'm lucky if I can so much as look at old feather brain without him trying to claw me to ribbons. Really? He seems tame enough around everyone else. Maybe it's just Hoodle's way of establishing dominance. Establishing dominance is crazy. Owls. What's going establishing dominance pecks at you. Uh, I don't know. Like when I'm talking to Rinwell, it's like he's trying to muscle me out or something. Unless, wait, you don't suppose I make him jealous? Come it's again. possible. Think they make a good comedic pairing. Honestly, they do. Oh, Hoodle. It's nice actually going back around the world and seeing that, you know, there are a couple of skits left for most of us to see. And it's kind of weird seeing a lot of the civilians occupy a good chunk of, um, a good chunk of what's left after, you know, we've taken down the Lord, so. Been, they've been able to like take over different things. All right, next Ooh. owl. Broken machine gun. <laughs> next one is going to be in Menencia in a second. Oh? I see you've got your relics all lined up again. What are you doing? Wait, Dolan, what are you doing? They're so bright now. Oh, it's you two. I was merely tending to my collection. D don't you think you've polished them enough by now? <sighs> you take better care of your relics than you do yourself. Oh, not the I call out. To take good care of them. However, no matter how much work I put in, it refused to respond. I thought you could hear their voices somehow. 
I can, but that's all I can do with them. I can't actually engage in conversation with them. Not yet. What are they saying? Did they really want you to polish them that much? You're right. I was so enraptured with them. I may have selfishly failed to consider their own wishes. Wait, what do you mean by that? And sincerely engage with them in earnest. He never gets tired of his relics, does he? Nope. It is interesting to look at them when they're all lined up together like this, though. Like how these two have similar designs. It makes me wonder if they were made in the same period. An excellent observation. Yes, I too suspect they're somehow intimately related as well. I don't... I which don't ones? Wait. I wish they told you which relics. Hmm? What's this? Why, that smear wasn't there previously. Could it be responding to my voice at long last? I don't think so. It's rather viscous and has a distinct aroma to it. Ah, uh, Hoodle! These relics are no what, What's happening? Business. <gasps> Wait, no! These are priceless pieces of history! Hoodle, no! <sighs> Come on, Dohalim. Let's go wash your hands before you catch anything weird. I sense a strange power from this. I let's just let's just go to Menencia. Alright, we're in the guard room now. Let's go on ahead and see if we can find this owl. It should be pretty easy to spy. Do you sense one of your Oh Why why are the voices like that deep? Like hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. Maybe something's going on in the forest. Alright, and we should have one more owl to get, and it's gonna be well two more hours to get sorry um the next one is going to be in the lord's chamber in um ganeth Haros. and the last one's in a bit of a weird spot i do hope i have access to it but well, look at him but look at the skit first hey, Law. Been training? yeah i guess i got a little carried away you think this is bad you should see the state of my underwear excuse me refrain from mentioning that stuff around girls ones without a military history especially law Man, can you imagine ringwell's face she'd have a nervous breakdown i meant in general but you sure mention her a lot you know oh huh oh i uh, i you know she's always there even when you least expect it oh ah, that's so cute Either that or maybe some part of you is subconsciously always wishing she was there Oh no, they're calling him out. They're calling him out. Tribulations of young romance never change. R romance? Like I'd be interested in that know-it-all tomboy. I'm more about mature women. Someone more like Kisara. You know, I used to be a tomboy too when I was Rinwell's age. Look, it's not tomboys I have anything against. But come on, you've got to Yo, admit you can be a little. Oh, no, no, I don't want to hear it. Hey, I'm cringing. self-arrival it wouldn't be called the spring of youth without a little storm every now and then basket was dirty hey basket was so How are dirty. you and alfin getting on these days that's a little out of the blue <laughs> oh and she's blushing too sorry it's just i don't know i'm just curious i guess i mean a lot's changed now he's got his senses back and all I suppose you're right. Well, to tell you the truth, if he'd been the way he is now back when I'd first met him, I probably wouldn't have gotten this involved. Not the girl gossip. If we hadn't met like we did, then I never would have experienced these feelings, so... I guess it's complicated. Uh, this is an interesting skit that I wish I saw I know before some cutscenes, but, but, you know, it's whatever. I know what it feels like to have someone you love who's out of reach. Because of Megal. Alfin's still alive. It's not too late, you know. And after all, who can say what the future holds? I think if I were you, I'd take things as they come for now. What? Besides, a section of the game. I've never touched you, Xion. But that doesn't stop you from knowing that I care about you, right? That's exactly. True. But I do remember 
remember back when we first met, you made it plenty clear you weren't my biggest fan. <laughs> Exactly. I'll say, cooking immediately springs to mind. And if it's someone's favorite dish, all the better. If there's something on your mind that you want to tell him, why not try appealing directly to his stomach? That basically means that she's cooking a fireball. I'll give it a shot. Wait, oh wait, that's cute. If it's Alvin's palate you're appealing to, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us. Well, well friendship is about being supportive. Kisara, you you you, you dug you, you dug the entire squad a hole for the night because now she was about to make like this spicy as heck food. Golly. Even after staying here, we never truly got to the bottom of what makes this realm's citizens tick. Renan and Danon are meaningless distinctions here. To have one's own mind is strictly forbidden. All that matters is blind obedience. That might be the case now. It can't always have been like that. There must have been something more. There must be something more. There must be something more. Is that the face to see on the magazine? If it's not, we'll just have to make something new. No, not we. They've had enough foisted on them as it is. You're right. It's time the people here had the chance to forge their own path. That's not to say it'll be easy, but it will be worthwhile. I agree. These take time to. Oh. What the? An ambush? S sorry Sorry. There was a huge flying bug and I sort of shot with that. Shion! A bug? Do you mean like a zoogle? Something tells me she would have shot it, whether it was a zoogle or not. This realm is teeming with humid forests. It's only natural insects would feel more at home here than Menencia. In fact, I seem to recall reading somewhere that bugs around these parts lay their eggs in human food. Dolling, don't you dare! Invasion. You can't. Sounds no like way! You, that, that, that will... What about you, Alfin? Bugs don't creep you out? I wouldn't say I was their number one fan. Mind you, if times get desperate enough, I've been known to eat them. Inside, ah, that's calendar, diabolical. What kind of seasoning are we talking? Dohalim, I don't think he was talking about cooking them. Hey, a lizard! Ah! Oh! Okay. Who, Next one. Who, who, who. These, um, these owls are something. All right, we have one more out to get, and yeah, I don't think I've actually ever been. Um... Okay, interesting. Okay, the last owls is Gus just gonna be right here. So this one actually requires a little bit of steps. Uh, you so. Really think so? All right, we actually have another skip before we head, and I'm going to show you this kind of wacky uh, situation to get this last owl. I've never this until now, Alfin, but doesn't it get hot wearing that armor all the time? You feel heat and cold again, don't you? Admittedly, yeah, it can get pretty toasty in this thing. Is it hard when your back starts to itch? Oh, you bet. Plus, um, my shoulders get stiff wearing it, even if it's not all that heavy. Kisara looks like she manages all right with her armor. Um... This skit, the timing wise, is um a little, a little awkward. Because really um, this is assuming he often had on his original the outfit, more huh? I think about it, the more I realize what a pain it must be. Like, what do you do when you need to take a leak? Please don't. Ew. That part can be a bit of a pain, yeah. More things to take off. Okay, thank God he that takes sucks, them off. Man. Wouldn't it be Rimmel, if you don't want to hear it, go away. Stop listening. Your armor most of the time instead. You never know when the enemy might attack. As tempting as it might be to take it off, it's not worth getting killed over. So basically, you're screwed if you ever get attacked while taking a dump. Right, Rinwell? Oh, my lord. Are you doing this on purpose? I loved and I hated all of that so much. Oh? Hey, what's this bottle? Um, You'll get sick if you drink out of random bottles you pick up. 
I'm not drinking from it. There's something inside, though. A letter. What does it say? Ship sank. Drifted to this island. No way off. Send help. It seems they were in a shipwreck and sent this letter out to sea in hopes of being found. Oh, oh my gosh, we have to rescue them. Right. There's a map in here. It's a rough sketch, but it's got to be the location of the island. Let's take a boat there. All right, we have one more quest. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. Okay, so from here, we need to head over to the Hidden Wharf because that's the only place where we have a ship and we could talk to the person to kind of take us out to sea. I definitely not would not have thought of doing this myself, so... Let's go ahead and head out to the uninhabited island. The also we have a fishing spot that we can head to as well, eventually. But we'll get there one step at a time. I think Hodel senses something. Isn't that all Madria's? So this is where her ship drifted. Then the one who wrote the letter is... Alive, but badly wounded. I doubt many of the others have survived. Let's survey the area. Okay, so I'm guessing that the Zoogles are just going to be native to here? I thought that these Zoogles were going to be a lot more closer to our level is what I will say. You guys want to rest here? But we have fast travel pointing out to the uninhabited island, so that's good news. So we must have had access to this place for a hot minute. Okay, so we need to make our way all the way up over here anyway, so this might be actually a little bit of a longer episode since we are just tying up the major loose end that is um, dealing with the owls, and we actually got another quest done on top of that, so I think that's actually pretty cool. It's just a shame, like, I shouldn't say it's just a shame. I do find it interesting that, um, if you consider, um, when we might have came here, you'd think that the mobs would be a scaled up just a wee bit higher. But I'm not complaining too much, because all that means is that I don't have to have nearly as much of a problem if I get in caught in the midst of a fight. So... We have over off to our left uh, one of the owls, and we also have someone here. Oh, it's you. It's you. Lord Tohalim. I figured I'd find you here, Kelzalik. Extra cutscenes. Be here? The handwriting on the note was all too familiar to me. Did you come all the way out here to mock me, or have you changed your mind about putting me to death? What if I had? Ooh! You have no right. You who abandoned your lordly duties and chose to fraternize with embedded of all people! And for what? How could someone as powerful as yourself turn your back upon the crown contest? I wonder what he's gonna tell him. Not this again. I ran from this once, but I must face it now. Oh, character development, sweet. The crown contest was never for me. I apologize for dragging you along, but I do not regret my choice in the slightest. <sighs> Listen to me, Kelzalik. People change. They can change given time and regardless of their race. I know you're a capable man. You could do so much for others if you were so inclined. I don't think he's gonna join. Me? I impossible. It's too late for me. I thought the same for Rinwell, Death. but... Death closes in on me wherever I go. What? Is that all Madrias? Almatrius. Oh yeah. Let's fight it. Alive too? It's 
so extra boss level 50 level 59 all right we are it, we are definitely in for a long episode and a, an episode where we actually have to try so i got the challenge that i asked for but i think the thing that's took me off guard with this whole thing is this almost seemed debatably sudden I do hope that we're strong enough to fight him. Um, I don't think it feels appropriate to have Dohalim in the fight, but maybe after Kisara's Mystic Art, assuming that she lives. Um, oh, I need to. Um, what do I need to do? Okay. I totally forgot that this dragon was flying. I've gotten... I feel like I've gotten a lot better at... Um... Combos in general. General. Okay. I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need at least a little bit more help from y'all. Oh, ow. Okay. While Offen's down, I am going to bring in Rinwell, because Rinwell's probably a decent bit stronger now that we... Oh, no. I haven't restocked on items in a minute. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but this is part of the reason why I play on very easy now. Not necessarily because I can't fight, like, these certain enemies. It's more like... They have such large health bars... That I feel like I'm just sitting there, just kind of hitting attacks for just ages. How obnoxious. Everyone's doing pretty good damage though, so I'm not going to complain too much more. Alright, while the resurrection's going off, I'm going to pop an orange gel. Oh, sweet. All right, we're at about the halfway point, which is uh, both the good news and the bad news. Because now he has over limit capabilities. So let's see, from here, let's put law back in. Well, not law back in, but law in. Such unadulterated fury. Can't move. The timing on dodging that second move is so rough, God. Okay, so from here we have one life bottle left. We have three gold gels, an orange gel, and a pineapple. So let's use the orange. You know, Law's actually been doing pretty good for himself. I want to point that out there. You know what it is? Actually, Law's not only doing well for himself, but I forget he's actually a lot tankier now because of the parental ring for, um, uh, from his side quest. The problem is that none of us, have, none of the party has been able to like utilize their mystic arts like at all, and it's only because like the boss does enough damage to where people are just effectively getting um, one tapped. Ugh. Should I use this? Gets everybody back up, everybody's fully healed. Let's get in the items wouldn't be here if we weren't supposed to use them. There we go. God. We're for free. That was a that was a boss fight. There. Hey, you didn't crawl away this time. You come with us. We can take you someplace safe. To where? Where could I possibly be safe from that? What are you talking about? We already took care of the monster. No! 
death is immortal by its very nature. Even now it haunts me. It hounds me. Um, huh? His drama he spoke of a silver death. Do you think he could be referring to the people back in the sense that he hollowed? He did so at Almadria's urging. I'm sure that somewhere deep down, he felt guilt and remorse for what he did. So he's just processing and we just gotta let him. It was easy to blame it all on Almadria while she was alive. But now that she's gone, he has no one left but himself to blame for his own misdeeds. He's alone with his guilt on this island. Fair enough. But it sounds like he lacked the mental fortitude to endure it. Makes sense. Sounds like just desserts to me. Da dang law. Almadria's monsters had nothing to do with it then. So he was a Renan, yet he regretted his part in the Danon's persecution. And now he's beyond help. Yep. Should we really just wash our hands of him, though? There's nothing more we can do. To be honest, it seems like he's punished himself far more than any punishment we could hope to mete out. <sighs> Dohalim. If I hadn't met all of you, I'd... No, even after that. If I hadn't accompanied you on this journey... It's entirely possible that might have been me. The only has a did. point. You're here with us now, and you didn't stumble into yeah, um, redemption, though, Halim. I remember that boss this fight. This is the path you chose for yourself. Yes, I suppose we it fought Tsar and we fought Dohalim, So we did what we could. We got a lot of money for it, and now we can get our last owl and oh, that's one of the giganto. I can feel something. I can feel my power growing. All right, we have our last one with the metal miner's cap. That treasure, what a sweet sounding ring it has. Uh, you really think so? Okay. So, I know I didn't explain, explore this area in full, honestly. Might be something worth doing another time. Let's go on ahead and head back to the owl forest now that we've gotten all the owls. That was the, last, that was the very last one. Like I said, this episode is going to be a bit of a long one before the boss fight. And now we're here. But yeah, look, one, two, three, four, five. He managed to get all five of them. So let's talk to the king. All right. What's our last little bit of rewards for this? They got a lot of costume stuff, but let's see these last little pieces. Tunica Rene. Machine Beast Statue Al Kingdom. Look at all these little guys. Look at all of them. It's like we've assembled every single owl in Dana. He probably you know, did. Looking at them all, I think we very well may have. Talk about a spectacular sight. Yeah, his majesty and her majesty both seem pleased as well. When she's all alone, her thoughts drift to sad places. I did all this so that she could have lots of friends and live happily ever after. Hey, I get a little grumpy sometimes. Uh, I'm interpreting for the owls, not talking about you. Well, at least Hoodle isn't alone anymore, right? But this is our family, right? Uh, right. Uh, hey, Hoodle? Huh? Hoodle, I think you should stay. Huh? If you keep traveling with us, it's going to be constant fighting, and you'll be put in a lot more danger. Um. But this is a safe place. 
filled with lots of friends for you. <sighs> Plus, you can learn lots of new stuff with friends. Just like all the new I think Hoodle's I've gonna stay. To we still got some skits. I need to cash it on my skits. All I could teach you is to jump from twig to twig. But now look at you. You're soaring to new heights. You can go wherever you want on your own now. So stay here and be with your friends, okay? What? Who will come with us, please? Are you sure about this? Hey, I didn't mean for you to. It's okay. I made up my mind. We stuck with each other for as long as we did because we had no one else to depend on. Now, it's for the best we stay among our own kind. I don't think so. I think you're allowed to have your own friends. Take care of yourself, Hoodle. That's actually- wait. I didn't expect that was how it's gonna end! <laughs> no. Hoodle's gonna come with us, no. Why can't you understand? I think he's trying to say I don't abandon my friends. Huh. Oodle has his own wings. If he wanted to leave, he could have left whenever he wanted to. Alfred has a pretty good point. He can come back to this place whenever he wants to. But right now, what he wants is to be with you. Exactly. Thank you. It's true. Thank you. Kind is here, and he knows that. But he won't know if you'll always be around, Rinwell. But I mean, I think he's asking you whether you really want him to go. No. Of course, I don't really want him to go. Hoodle's the only family I have left. Then stay with him, Rinwell. Say it with me. Stay I'm with settled. him. Hoodle has a place to go home to whenever he wants, and that'll never change things between you. Are you sure about this, Hoodle? Oh, best character. Hoodle, best, best little guy. Pray your journey is a safe one. Okay, enough already. Thank you. Try to be nice to one another, your majesties. <laughs> well, what's the answer? Oh, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll both take care of each other. I meant the owl's answer. <clears throat> Y'all, you two are so silly. Y'all two are both so silly. But it's done. Found all the owls. Let's all go ahead and, before we end things off, let's see what our, all, all of our new artifacts do. My door. My door closed because the AC and scared the bejeebus out of me. All right, more ore, I'll take that. Carry over art proficiency, carry over items, carry over levels, carry over equipment, carry over skills, outfits, and records. Okay. All those seem pretty good to me. And we have quite a bit of SP to spend, so I'll do that off screen between episodes. Thank you guys also very much for watching today's episode of Tales of Arise. This one's gonna be a little bit of a wild one. We have a little bit of everything. Collecting, fighting, even some character development for the likes of Dolhalim, Rinwell, and even Hoodle. So, I hope you guys like what you saw, and I'll be sure to see you guys all in the next one, okay? You guys have a fantastic rest of your day.